Good morning. We're so happy you're here. Happy Friday. We are vlogging for 13 days to raise money for American Cancer Society. And if I didn't say it already, we're so glad you're here. Anywho, I'm 37 weeks pregnant today and I am going in for a non-stress test and a normal checkup. Um, basically, since 36 weeks, I started getting these NSTs because it's an IVF pregnancy. That wasn't the case with Jamesy, but hey, we will do all the extra monitoring, um, all that good stuff. So, let's go. I'm gonna eat this factor meal for lunch because I came home from my appointment ravenous. I am looking tired. I did just put Teddy down for a nap, but um, the appointment was pretty straightforward. Charlie sounded, looked great on the monitor. It took a little bit longer because my doctor had to go to the hospital to deliver a baby, and then we had to wait for another doctor to like confirm that everything on the little graph looked good. I really didn't have questions today really so it's pretty like fast um, my bump is measuring between 37 and 38 which is great and we're thinking about doing like my first cervical check and then a membrane sweep at 39 weeks um, just given I have had a successful VBAC and like everything is pointing to that being the same case again. Um, might do it just a little bit sooner because Charlie's measuring a little bit bigger, um, just in general. But we're just gonna like, kind of be touch and go. I think if you have been with us a long time, you will know that my induction with James didn't go well. I didn't respond to medication. Um, cervical exams were not fun and I know like those were the circumstances um, but I'm just not somebody like I've become very patient with that and um, I've been offered the cervical exams and I just like I don't think they're not necessary for me for my mindset for our plan so I don't know if I'm dilated I'm also GBS positive again which I was with Teddy so there's like higher chance for like bacteria and infection we just don't need anything like that we don't need any extra anything so I'm gonna put that off and I mean this week went by fast between 36 and 37 and 37 feels like seven just always feels like so much bigger than six in my mind even like for kids so I don't know we're we're getting close um, but that is our plan for 39 weeks to get a little bit more information but we still have two weeks for that we did blow up the exercise balls um, the boys are loving those, but, um, yeah, just to, to start getting the movement in and all that. So, yeah, feeling real, but, like, still feeling like we have time, but we don't have that much time. Oh, <laughs> that was sweet while it lasted. It's Friday, it's Friday. This has turned into a toy for the kids and dad. Huh? Toy for the kids and dad. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say about this Friday so far? It's 4.30, I thought I was gonna kind of be loosely done with work at like two, didn't happen. Thought I was gonna get an afternoon run in, didn't happen. And now we're at the afternoon part of the day where it's like we all just, you want to call quits? What was I saying just now? Do you guys have those after like anybody? This is not just for parents, but does anybody have those days where it's just like at a certain point in the afternoon you're just like, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I want not even want the day to be over, but you're just like your tank is now empty, mentally, emotionally, physically. But you're like, yeah, still got. Five, six, seven hours left in the day, but uh, tank's empty. How do you guys bounce back from that? 
Sarah and I are very accustomed to like ordering out. Not the best health wise or financially wise, but it helps our heart. And it needs to feel good. Or it's like, let's throw responsibility to the wind and not fold laundry or not do laundry or do the dishes. And it's like, but we have to keep our house running. Yeah. So We're how do you guys think Easter back? this weekend? I forgot about that. We're having a baby soon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I like I want to potentially I get zesty and then I get tired. Um to like put the baby car seat in, yeah. pack the hospital bag, like do like that sort of stuff. I know we could get those things ready quick. You know, I know like the baby's on our mind all the time and stuff like that, but you know like every single meeting now at work. And I have a lot of meetings, right? Yeah. Every single meeting it's brought up. Well, I haven't even put on my out of like my signature to my emails like pending out of office. Uh -huh. Contact these people. I'm supposed to. I was supposed to do it last Friday, but I didn't. Nice do it today. James is <laughs> hopping from. We have like 12 tile inch to tile. tiles. Yeah, hopping from tile to tile like a cutie. Well, I fell for another Magic Light movie I found on Apple TV. This one's called Zog, about a dragon. James he loves dragons. Walking through the forest, walking through the forest. We're not afraid. We're not afraid. Why not? We're doing a home night. Ah! Oh, you poured water in yourself. There's a bath night too, so why not maximize and play in the backyard? Water. Yeah, water. You wanna get the hose? Busy, busy, busy. There's two up. There's two what? Uh, it's on the water, on the water. Yeah. Alex. Hi, Papa. Where's your hippo? You don't know. Should I go get that in the BABA? Yeah. You hear the anarchy in the background? We learned from being at playing outside. I don't, I don't know if I got any shots that we would put in, but maybe we did. Um, but I was playing outside with the boys. But then they got filthy, so it was bath time. But it's not late enough to go to bed. But not late enough to like, not early enough to like start any like other fun. Yeah, so I'll go get, a, I'll get his hippo and then we'll like hang out in our well-loved loft, right? Hug! Oh. Huh? Why, yes. You may hug the hug machine. Hug machine is always open for business. Can you hear what movie I'm listening to? I'm watching. Just clean up all the toys. The boys actually went to bed pretty early tonight. I wanted to show my face at the end of the vlog. I look tired. But, um, I'm actually feeling pretty good. So... We'll see what I get done tonight. Um, I don't know why Sound of Music felt like an Easter movie, but this is my favorite song of the, the whole show. Particularly that little hero click. Friday night runs. It's bedtime didn't go as planned. What are you gonna do? Gotta get time out of the lights, right? Four miles done. Bring in the weekly to 29 miles. My 89th day running. Got to figure out when we do my long run and such. We have a really busy weekend with Easter, and I have a school project and a school midterm, and haircuts and life. But we'll map it out. We'll figure it out. I'll get the time. Feel good though. Peter just did schoolwork. We didn't like. We didn't have the time or the energy to pack the bag too. So while Peter did that, I made a list for the hospital bag. So it was a good list. I do love a good list. We're trying to be in the mentality that the weekend's not already over before it's begun. We have so much fun. I know, thing. we just- We have a lot to do this weekend. So of course it's gonna fly by, but right. we have a lot of fun to do. Yeah, all of our time is accounted for. But that's good to have a plan to make sure you can get yeah. it all in. And when this weekend's over, it's April. And that's it's baby month. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. 
We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>